Good day, I'm Marielle Angel M. De La Cruz, and I am pleased to welcome you to our coverage of Region 3 Central Luzon. In this session, we will uncover the diverse elements, recent changes, and distinctive characteristics that define this vital region in the heart of the Philippines. Stick around for an in-depth exploration of Central Luzon's dynamic landscape. Central Luzon, also known as Region 3 in the Philippines, is deep in a rich history, comprising seven provinces, Bulacan, Pampanga, Tarlac, Sambales, Bataan, Nueva Ecija, and Aurora. The region is a tapestry of unique stories and cultural heritage. From the historical sites in Bataan to the culinary delights of Pampanga, each province offers a distinct experience. Central Luzon, often referred to as the rice granary of the Philippines, holds a vital role in the nation's agriculture, making significant contributions to food production. Situated in close proximity to Metro Manila, Central Luzon is a pivotal economic and industrial hub. Thriving sectors including manufacturing and commerce contribute to the region's dynamic growth. Furthermore, the area bears sweetness to historical events from the Spanish and American colonial periods. Adding to its cultural significance, there is a multitude to explore and discover within the diverse provinces of Region 3. Bulacan, located in Region 3 of the Philippines, has a fascinating history. It played a significant role during the Spanish colonial period. Noong panahon ng pananakop ng mga Espanyol, ang Pilipinas ay naging kolonya ng Espanya. Bulacan is known for its historical sites such as the Bar Swine Church. Ang Bar Swine Church ay isang simbahan na may malalim na kasaysayan ng Bulacan, where the first Philippine Republic was established. Its province rich in culture, heritage, and delicious food. The second one is Pampanga. Pampanga is renowned for its lively culture, diverse cuisine, and historical significance, earning it the title Culinary Capital of the Philippines. Notable for its flavorful dishes, the province boasts historical sites like San Agustin Church and the vibrant nightlife of Angeles City. So, ang sabi dito, ang Pampanga raw po ay kilala sa masasarap na lutuin at kasaysayan. Ang San Agustin Church at Angeles City ay isa sa mga paboritong puntahan ng mga tao dahil ito ay historical. May mga fiesta din daw dito tulad ng Sinukwan at Giant Lantern Festival. Kilala rin ang mga taga Pampanga sa pagiging dedikado sa pagpapahalaga sa kasaysayan tulad ng lasatin at hison singian house. Ang Pampanga ay puno ng kultura at karanasan para sa mga bisita. Tarlac is a province in the central Luzon region of the Philippines. Known for its vast agricultural lands and picture landscape, it offers stunning views of vast rice fields and majestic mountains. Tarlac is also rich in history, with significant sites such as the Aquino Center and Museum, which commemorates like the life and legacy of national hero Benigno Aquino Jr. The province is also home to the Mount 
watering local delicacy like the famous Belen, Tart and Burong Isla, with its warm climate and friendly log house. Tarlac is a great destination for nature lovers and history enthusiasts like alike. The next one is Sambales. Sambales is a province of unparalleled natural beauty and diverse attractions. Its pristine coastline is adorned with famous beaches like Subic Bay and secluded havens such as Patipot Island and Anawangin Cove. Adventure souls can embark on a trek up Mount Pinatubo, revealing a breathtaking crater lake formed by the volcano's historic eruption in 1991. Ang Sambales Dos, Central Luzon, Philippines, ay may magagandang beach tulad ng Subic Bay, mga lihim na lugar gaya ng Patipot Island at mapangahas na trek sa Mount Pinatubo na may kahangahangang crater lake. Ito din ay nagbibigay ng cultural immersion sa pamamagitan ng mga komunidad ng Aita, nagtatampok ng kanilang tradisyon at maayos na pamumuhay. Bukod dito, kilala din ang Sambales bilang Mango Capital of the Philippines at ipinagdiriwang ito taon-taon sa Mango Festival, gumagawa sa lalawigan na kaakit-akit para sa mga naghahanap ng beach adventure at kultura. Aside from the four places mentioned, Bataan is also a province in the region of Central Luzon. Bataan situated in the Central Luzon region of the Philippines holds a significant place in history, notably for its role during World War II, particularly the infamous Bataan Death March. Beyond its historical importance, Bataan offers diverse attractions including beautiful beaches in Morong and Bagak, attracting sun seekers. Ang Bataan naman daw ay kilala sa kasaysayan nito, particular sa Bataan Death March. May magandang mga beach sa Morong at Bagak para sa mga naghahanap ng araw at may Bataan National Park para sa mga nature enthusiast. Kasama rin ang mga heritage sites at masarap na pagkain. Nagbibigay ang Bataan ng kakaibang karanasan para sa kasaysayan, kalikasan at kultura. Nueva Ecija is a province in the Philippines known for its rich agricultural landscape and vibrant cultural heritage located in the heart of the sun. It offers beautiful rice paddies, cinetic mountains, and historical site. Neva Ecija is also famous for its sumption local cuisine, including tasted delicacies like longanisa and puto. With its warm and welcoming people, Neva Ecija is a wonderful destination for those seeking an authentic and unforgettable Philippine experience. Aurora is a province in Region 3 of the Philippines. It was named after the wife of President Manuel L. Quezon. Si Manuel L. Quezon ay isang dating Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Siya ang ikalawang Pangulo ng Pilipinas at nagsilbi mula 1935 hanggang 1944. The Gateway of the Pacific Aurora is famous for its stunning landscapes including the Sierra Madre Mountains and beautiful beaches. Ang Sierra Madre Mountains ay isang malaking kadena na mga bundok na matatagpuan sa Luzon ng Pilipinas. In concluding our report on Central Luzon or Region 3, we recognize the significance of the region with its vibrant history, natural wealth, and cultural diversity combining the historical aspects of Bataan. 
the beauty of Zambales and other attractions in the region, it paints a picture of a place with profound meaning and captivating experiences for both residents and visitors. As Central Luzon continues to progress, we look forward to more opportunities for growth development and in-depth exploration of its remarkable treasures. Thank you for listening.